Hello everyone, welcome to What The Math, this is Anton and today we're going to be visiting a very unusual system in Space Engine all in 360 so you can actually scroll through your screen right now and see things around you. Now we're visiting a very interesting neutron star that you see in front of you which is actually a pulsar which is known as Lich. That's right, it's, it has a name and its name is Lich. What is Lich? Well, if you, have, if you know anything about fantasy, um, it is actually a kind of a creature, undead creature, that controls other creatures with magic. Now, why does this star, or why does this neutron star have an actual name? Well, I'm going to explain it to you in a second, as we're about to land on it. Now, this actually has a, an actual name, which is PSR B1257 plus 12. Now, this star, uh, or this pulsar, has actually been discovered quite a long time ago, and uh, in 1992, a uh, scientist from Poland discovered something else around it, and you're about to see what it is. So this is actually what it looks like when you land on a neutron star, and you can kind of see the blue shift and the dilation effects happening right now. And there you go, this is a pulsar or a neutron star, and if you were to actually stand on the surface, this is what you would see. Everything would be spinning very, very, very fast, but you know what, I don't want you to lose your... A mind and start throwing up so let's just get out of the surface and start moving away from it but because this is a pulsar it actually spins very very fast uh, this was actually slowed down by, by about 300 times so um, every time the star spins or actually no that's not a good example but uh, this star basically spins 10,000 times every minute that's how fast it spins and it's only about 28 kilometers in size, it's much smaller than Earth, it's about the size of a very large city on Earth, and so you, as we move away from it, you can see the dilation. Anyway, and so this is actually why we're here, this is a planet by the name of Poltergeist. Poltergeist uh, has been given this name in 2015, and it's a planet uh, that was the first exoplanet to be ever discovered in the world. In 1992, a Polish scientist uh, discovered this planet by looking at the pulsar and realizing that its signals were kind of different. Every once in a while, specifically with a certain period, they were different, and so he realized that there must have been a planet orbiting around it, and not just one, not just two, but actually three planets. Now, this is Poltergeist. This is the first planet we're going to take a look at because this was the first to be discovered. This is what it kind of looks like. Uh, from the outside. Now, it, we don't really know what it exactly looks like. This is just sort of a, an artistic imp um, impression. Uh, we think it may look like this, but we don't really know because we don't really know how these planets were created. As a matter of fact, not many um, pulsars or actually not many neutron stars have any planets around them. And this is one of the few out there that has anything around them. Now, this particular planet is about four times as massive as Earth, and it circles uh, the primary um, star, or the neutron star, at a distance of about uh, 0.36 astronomical units, which is very similar to the uh, distance of Mercury from the Sun. And it takes it about 66 days to orbit once. And so every 66 days, the pulsar has a slightly different signal. Now, the second planet here looks like this. And this is a planet by the name of Phobitor. Now, Poltergeist, you may know what Poltergeist is, but Phobitor is actually a Greek deity of nightmares. And uh, both of these planets have a kind of a sinister name to them. Um, and both of these are basically orbiting this pulsar. And are, of course, are creating disturbance, disturbances in its um, pulsating nature. So pulsars are known for producing these really um, unique signals that you can detect almost everywhere in the universe and uh, this particular pulsar um, is disturbed by these planets and creates subtly different signals every once in a while. Now, so this is what Phobitor looks like from the outside and uh, it orbits around the pulsar at a slightly uh, farther distance and obviously both of these planets are very very cold because other than really really extreme uh, gamma rays it doesn't really produce energy to heat them up. And the last planet here is known as Jogger, which is the undead creature from Norse mythology. So once again, a kind of an undead slash zombie-like creature. And um, all three of these planets are very interesting in that we don't really know how they were made. And the, interest, the most interesting and unique fact about them is that we think they were made in what's known as 
the second round of planetary system formation, which was very likely um, after the very large supernova that occurred that created this uh, neutron star. And so the remains of the supernova were probably spiraling around the super, uh, the the neutron star and eventually settled into these three planets. Two of them are about four times as massive as Earth and one of them is about half as massive. And that's of course the planet Jolgar, which I just showed you. And uh, this makes Jolgar the smallest exoplanet to be ever found. So it's actually the smallest planet out there that we've discovered so far. And anyway, so that's all I really wanted to show you in this particular video. And I think in the next video, we're going to try to recreate this in Universe Sandbox 2 as well. And while we're moving away from Leech, Poltergeist, Fobitor, and Jogger, I wanted to thank you for watching this video. And please subscribe if you still haven't, share this video with your friends, and like this if you've enjoyed watching this. In the next video, we're going to explore the system in more detail. And do subscribe because there's going to be a lot more 360 videos coming in the future. Thank you guys. Give me later. Bye-bye.